What is going on guys? It's Rob from Heroes Avenue. I hope you guys are all doing well. It's been a week since I posted a video. I had a COVID scare this past week. It was absolutely nuts, but it turns out I was just sick. Family's doing okay. Hope you guys are doing okay. I have some really interesting things that I want to talk about and catch up on. In this video, the main topic I want to talk about is this whole Amber Heard situation because while I was sick, I've been catching up on the trial, the videos, and everything. And just uh, today, Amber Heard testified and talked about her role in Aquaman 2. So I want to go ahead and talk about that and give you my thoughts on the trial as a whole. And we're also going to talk about the flash test screenings that happened last week as well. That's going to be a smaller topic and give you my update on Ezra Miller and the whole situation, at least from how I see it. But first, I want to talk about this Warner Brothers Discovery rumor because it definitely has got a lot of people who are fans of the Snyderverse interested and just fans of DC in general interested because David Zaslav wants to remake Warner Brothers to have a similar structure to Disney with separate entities with individual and creative leaders from divisions like DC, New Line, and Animated who all report to a film boss overseeing total input. Now that would seem pretty obvious uh, in terms of a structure uh, a business structure, uh, you know, you you would think that Zack Snyder was someone uh, in that role in the past uh, for DC, but it's funny how it takes uh, a lot of money, a lot of firings, and a lot of, um, it takes a whole uh, acquisition of another company for them to realize that this is the answer all along. Um, but anyways, this, ru this is a rumor, I should say, it comes from this article right here, which you can't necessarily see the whole article because you have to it's stuck behind a paywall essentially but it just talks about how uh alan horn it's is rumored to be in negotiations to come back to warner brothers of course alan horn um uh is someone who made disney i mean i so he originally was with uh warner brothers but uh, when he left to go to Disney made a ton of billion dollar movies incredibly successful but with him being relatively older now it's kind of hard to uh say that this is something that could happen for certain but uh but who knows you know with this whole Zaslov era uh as this article likes to say uh being something uh, that is is now coming to fruition who knows what could happen crazier things have happened in the times that we are living in and uh, this comes as variety also kind of outlines david Zaslov's um memo to all the workers um i imagine being a worker over there is a little um uh unsettling because of all the restructuring he's doing i know he's trying to reassure people reassure people of th that he has you know has things under control he has plans for success but uh you know he put out this memo to his staff talking about um you know what the priorities are going to be and it's not it's nothing crazy new that we've heard uh, one of the f funny things is that, you know, he still wants to continue to reinforce CNN's role in the world. And, you know, at a time where mainstream news is, uh, you know, at its least popular, um, you know, for good reason. That's funny, though, that he has to also inherit stuff like that. But what we're concerned about here is, of course, all of the uh, WB news. So I will be updating you as we get more news on that. There's a lot of rumblings that there are there may be something happening and. Um, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Ultimately, uh, that Alan Horn thing would be cool, but um, you know we shall see. Uh, it's not like I I anticipate Zack Snyder is going to kind of announce anything like the Snyder versus being restored in the next few weeks or nothing like that. But uh, I will update with you guys. Um, anyways, let's move on. So that we got that topic out of the way, let's move on to the main topic, which is of course Amber Heard. I don't know about you guys, but um, <laughs> This has been a real shit show for Amber Heard. Uh, not that it's been great for Johnny, but definitely public opinion has swayed in the direction of believing in Johnny Depp and uh, his his experiences within the marriage. Um, so first off, I want to do talk about what my stance was before in terms of Amber Heard and Aquaman 2. In previous videos, I, I, I kept suggesting that I could totally separate the art from the artist and whether or not she stays in the role i'm still gonna watch aquaman 2 and that still remains the case um i can still watch i can still watch the movie and enjoy the movie even if i think 
Amber Heard is a piece of crap. And I actually, after reviewing all the, I mean, again, it's not over yet. I'm not the one making the decision ultimately. But after seeing a lot of the testimony and all the evidence, um, it's, I've always believed in Johnny Depp's situation, especially because of the recordings that I heard a long time ago. But um, man, public opinion has swayed. I think there's over 4 million signatures to get her out. And more recently, we have this. So again, like I said, she test she testified today, but um, she confirmed what Grace Randolph had um, suggested, and a lot of I know a lot of people like to crap on Grace Randolph. She has some bad takes sometimes, in my opinion, but often she tries to report what she's heard, and it's true. So uh, the headline is Amber Heard testifies that Aquaman 2's part was cut down as as petition to remove her from uh, the film nears 4.2 million signatures. So um, there's no no one who uh, spoke on this, no rep that uh, no rep of hers that confirmed any of this or uh, WB for that matter. But uh, it's interesting to note that back in what was it right here? It says back in July, um, producer Peter Safran says, I don't think we were ever going to react to honestly pure fan pressure. <laughs> he says, you got to do what's best for the movie. We felt that if. Director James Wan and star Jason Momoa returning. It should be Amber Heard. That's really what it was. And uh, yeah, fast forward to today, and here's what we see. Um, here's what she said as she testified um, on, and, and I'll, I'll talk more about what I think about Amber Heard's situation and some of the things that really bothered me. Uh, but here's, here's what it says. it says. I fought really hard to stay in the movie, she said, adding that she'd filmed... Uh, a very pared down version of a role. I was given a script, then given new versions of the script that had taken away scenes that had action in it that depicted my character and other and another character without giving any spoilers away. Two characters fighting with one another. Her justified they basically took a bunch of my role and just removed a bunch. Took out a bunch of my role. They just removed a bunch. The actress said she couldn't renegotiate her contract, which stipulated that she'd received two million and a portion of the movie's profit for her work. Uh, she earned one million for the original flick. Heard also denied on the stand that she had uh, defecated on Depp's side of the bed. They shared. Uh, I had just been attacked on my thirtieth birthday by my violent husband, with whom I desperately, uh, I was desperately in love, and I need to need to leave. It was not really a jovial time, and I don't think it was funny. Period. So again, I'm not here to make light of that situation. Again, I'll talk about more of that with that in a second. But the big thing here is, yeah, they took a big portion of a role uh, and they just cut it out. You know, she was originally like, like everyone would think she was a bigger part of the movie. And then as probably pressure from the fans and a lot of the evidence, you know, I mean, the evidence was all there already, but um, as the trial got started, I'm sure WB saw that, Hey, you know, just from a business standpoint, even if you start to look at the, the the argument and um all of the evidence that johnny depp's team which is doing a pretty good job of framing the narrative in in his favor it, it didn't look good for her and her own voice recordings of the situation seemed to damn her um in in no uncertain terms she there's literally video recordings of her uh basically admitting to Johnny, uh, admitting on the phone that she um, assaulted him and that the world wouldn't believe him. And she kind of egged him on to just spread the word, tell the world. And she didn't think anything would come of it. And then you get, you know, you, you get the whole, um, you know, you get Johnny's perspective. You get a lot of, you get a lot of witnesses who were there just saying that, hey, those bruises weren't really there. People that were literally, um, you know, there who were working under her said hey there were no bruises i actually saw bruises on johnny's face you know during these times i've witnessed her throw things at her and punch him and um you get therapists who kind of diagnose her with um you know kind of two personalities there's a lot of things going on there again on johnny's side of things there's other therapists that would say otherwise but basically there's the uh, argument the team that argue the Johnny Depp team has been making a pretty effective argument laying out the evidence the witnesses and um, then you see Amber Heard go on trial testify and her testimony just seems 
to fall very flat. It seems like it's overacted uh, in most part, in, in the most part. And she's actually being made fun of a lot, especially on TikTok, which I'm not on, but I've seen things like that posted onto Twitter and onto Instagram. Um, and again, I'm not here to make light of the accusations. Again, I wasn't there to witness any of this stuff, but it's from my point of view, at least from what I've seen so far, um, not to say that anyone is going to come out of this a winner. It just seems like um, all the public sentiment, including mine, I tend to favor, you know, I tend to favor Johnny Depp in, in terms of in terms of the trial uh, and basically trying to make the argument that her accusations of him cost him a lot of roles in Hollywood and basically his career. Um, and then, you know, it's really, I, I encourage everyone to do their own research, check out the testimonies, the highlights, and see what you guys think, because it's pretty damning in my opinion. And um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I am almost glad that she's getting her role cut down because just the type of person she seems to be, according to testimonies and all that stuff, um, she doesn't seem to be like the best person in the world. Now, I did like her as Mira. One, because, you know, they established her as Mira in the Snyderverse, Zack Snyder's vision. I always wanted to see it played out, so I always supported it. Um, and she was good enough in the role, even though her acting wasn't the best. Chemistry wasn't the best in Aquaman, but I did enjoy the movie. So, um, again, either way, I'm going to watch the movie. I'll probably enjoy it, and I'll call out the things that I didn't like. But uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to lose any sleep with her losing uh, her role as Mira in the future. Now, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Uh, what do you think uh, about Amber Heard and getting her role cut down? Are you happy? Um, do you disagree with me and coming to my conclusions already? Uh, let me know your thoughts on the trial and everything in the comments down below. That's This has been crazy, and it's been a wild ride, and um, we're like halfway done with the trial, and we'll see. I will definitely up you, update you guys when that trial's over because it's going to have major repercussions so uh yeah let me know what you guys think let's move on to the last topic and this happened this happened last week you know i was sick um but you know there's been a lot of um there's been a lot of press on the flash bad press for the most part because of ezra miller's situation but it does seem like there is some upside because it looks like WB has been in contact with Ezra's team and are confident that when his side of the story comes out, which eventually it probably will, um, it will make public sentiment uh, kind of swing a little bit towards Ezra's favor. Again, not to say that Ezra was in the best condition. Grace Randolph did report that he, he had a tragic loss. I can't imagine what it is, but um, of course it doesn't excuse any physical behavior or physical harm that he's imposed on anyone but again we don't know all the facts the good news is that Ezra's patent is is now supposedly getting help and WB is in contact with his team um so that's something that happened in the past week also what happened in the past week is apparently a test screening so I'm just there's, these are just a few things that I heard um or that were on Twitter that I remember saving um source who saw the test screening of the flash last night says it's up there with the Batman Wow, quite the statement because Batman was definitely a triumph and the Flash, I mean, I could imagine the Flash story being really good, especially because, you know, you hear you hear all the things that we've reported on, what's supposedly in the movie, all the leaks. It sounds like it could be a bonkers ride of the movie. Not, It didn't sound like it was going to be some sort of cinematic masterpiece like the Batman. I think the Batman was. Um, third act wasn't the greatest. Imagine the third act of the Flash is going to be absolutely insane, but... Again, it's going to be a wild ride. I, I liken it to, obviously, the, the parallel of this is Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange. Love the movie. Not saying it's some cinematic masterpiece, but it was one hell of a fun ride, is what I like to say. Um, so, up there with the Batman. Uh, it's kind of a weird one. So, um, uh, Flash Film News, been on top of this, hearing positive reactions to last night's screening of The Flash. Casey Walsh says... My source loves the film, said this was exactly what he wanted and wants from the DCEU. Uh, nothing major to report on either. Sounds like it was the same cut from what I'd gathered before. So basically the same cut of what uh, screened before. Uh, Daniel Rickman said uh, there was a test screen for Flash yesterday and I hear it's okay. I was told like a 6 or 7 out of 10, at least in their opinion. Take it as you will. 
Now, six out of six out of ten is a movie I can very much enjoy. I think a lot of people are caught up in the uh, caught up in uh, every movie having to be perfect. Um, I think six or seven I could enjoy. Obviously, we want things to be a lot better. Um, but yeah, I this movie is going to be divisive no matter what. So uh, yeah, kind of insane. Uh, this Flash movie has been on one hell of a ride. Uh, I hope Ezra's doing better. Um, I hope, you know, there's <laughs> there's footage and stuff coming out with him trying to get into a bar. Supposedly there's Nazis involved and po there's police footage out there. I don't want to report on anything until everything's a little bit more clear at this point with this whole Ezra situation. But The Flash, looking like it's going to be okay. You know, we got some mixed reviews there. Um, let me know about your hype level for The Flash. Has it gone down? Has it gone up? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.